It's nice to have a change in the weather, no sunshine, but this is going from one extreme to the other. Visibility is very minimal indeed. We've got a big veil of cloud hanging over me. It's a good day for black and white photography. So I'm back where it all started for me in 2007 when I first got into landscape photography. This is Mallendale. What you see there is the famous Malim Lone Tree. Um, but it's just full of atmosphere, especially on a day like today. But the features here, such as you've got your limestone rocks, of course, you've got your, your trees, which are darted throughout place dry stone walls it's just a, a wonderful place so black and white photographer what i'm going to do because i've got an intention of shooting black and white photographer is first of all set my picture style to monochrome i think too often than not as landscape photographers black and white photographer is more of an afterthought probably with a lot of you if an image don't work in colour, then let's just play around. What does it look like in monochrome? And there you go. But if you set your sights on going out with intentions of shooting black and white, then it'll be more to your benefit. Take away the colour, and what have you got? You've got shapes, you've got lines, you've got diagonals, you've got textures. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to frame up looking for compositions which are nice and simple and free of any distractions i'm going to focus on the light areas the dark areas if i'm looking for a, a, a dark subject make sure it's against a light background so there's more emphasis on it i also want to create some atmosphere some mood i'm hoping to get that today so i want to create a better mood but what mood do i mean calmness evoke a bit of solitude perhaps maybe I want to create a piece of fine art which I want to hang up on the wall. But what is fine art? How do you define fine art? Is it abstract? Let me know. To you, what does fine art mean? So I can't come to Malham without taking a shot of the Malham Lone Tree. There's a reason why it's been taken so many times, and that's because it works. It's as simple as that. Such strong leading lines from the limestone rocks, then obviously leading up to your focal point, the tree itself. It's got to be black and white, this image, because it's just full of strong features, lines, textures. Um, so yeah, I'm set up here, F11, just making sure everything is sharp. The wide angle is on, just to ensure that the foreground is fully in the frame because that is the main area of interest. So yeah, there we go. There's a lot of tidying up to do here because you've got pieces of grasses, foliage everywhere. So it's gonna take some time in post processing but um there we go now i am going to wander around see if we can get anything different but it's good to have this shot in the bag finding the right foreground interest that we're still retaining this tree behind me something just to lead the eye onto remember what i said before the important part of black and white photography is ensuring that you get some nice shapes nice textures in the image so i've looked around there's various sorts of bracken i think it's bracken or fern uh, with some really interesting shapes so 
I managed to find some. Um, hard work though. Handheld, I had to really get down on my hands and knees and it's not the best of services. Wide angle, I had to get the wide angle just to ensure that everything is in the frame. Um, F16 as well because it was fairly close to the subjects and I wanted to get as much sharpness in as possible. <laughs> Bet sun's come out. You've got to have a better forward thinking in black and white photography when it comes to post processing. Because the best colours to work with are your greens, your blues, your yellows, so grasses, foliage, your sky, you really go to town with those. Because I'm about to speak, do you mind? Having front to back sharpness in black and white photography is not as important in my opinion. Because it is more of a fine art. It can become an abstract image, so you can get away with a lot of things. And that also applies to post-processing as well. You can just push those sliders a bit further. And at the end of the day, you can enjoy it more. moody on me again oh dad summer's out one minute now it's gone well i've packed away look no camera on the tripod fired off a few shots telephoto was on again using the limestone rocks as a, a leading line feature a nice prominent fell in the background i focused about a third way in uh, i had to use telephoto use a wide angle then the background would just become too insignificant and I wanted to I wanted that to play a part in the image. Nice bit of clouds as well, just to add to the atmosphere. Remember, bad days are good for black and white photographer. There's also a bit of light forming as well over the fells. <laughs> I was going to use a road which is just at the side of me that was my plan but I didn't quite find a composition but excellent leading lines um, that straight up or diagonally into the frame when it comes to black and white you can really play with those but uh, I didn't find it maybe at another time but some uh, good images there pretty pleased with them so I'm going to pack up now um, so Recap, black and white photography, you need to have fun with it because you can have fun with it, just experiment. It's all about lines, textures, working with your shadows, making sure your, your main subject is in contrast with a, a background so it stands out. I've really enjoyed myself, I've been a few hours now, I need to go now, so that's what I'm going to do. Now then, I have set up a website, uh, jamesrburnsphoto.com. Get yourself on, the, <clears throat> on there, just drop myself. Um, I am writing a blog roughly every one or two weeks time. You'll find all my best images, all my favorite images in my portfolio section as well. It's still in its uh, early days, but uh, gonna have a look at that. I'm also on Instagram, on james underscore r, Let's go, Burns. So, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, give me a comment. And if you do like what you see and you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. Much appreciated. Until next time, be happy, take good care of yourself. Bye bye.